Jeez, no one voted for War of Harmony 4. I, I, like, did you guys not realize that War of Harmony 4 was also My Little Pony related? Is it because it's ostensibly a visual novel that might as well be a fan fiction that is slightly playable? Really? I mean, I was expecting at least one or two votes for it. But but I guess everyone really wanted me to play a question about it. It, was, it is a much more recent game. Anyway, uh, version 1.3, I'm not sure if uh, version 1.4 is out right now. If it is, I'll update to it next video. Uh, a question bound, a full remake of Earthbound. So we're going to be playing this for quite a while. That being said, I don't I don't believe I will get 100%. Uh, I might do like every side quest. The way Earthbound is its side quests anyway, but I don't think if I'll begin like the ultimate weapons or something like that. Anyway, a uh, unique title screen right here, or title image, I suppose. And awesome music from the original Earthbound, though. I always felt this uh, intro right here with the music uh, ended kind of too quickly. Like it, it, like it was built in up for something, but then all of a sudden it's just... Let's go straight to the title screen. Which uh, is uh, not edited because I don't believe it's actually possible to edit this screen right here. Maybe, I have no idea what ROM hacking of Earthbound, how difficult it is, but I heard it's pretty difficult. Also, uh, we're gonna be skipping that. And start a new game. We are going to gallop, text speed. Stereo, uh, usually I always pick plain, but you know what, I'm gonna go with peanut here. Or, should I say, Applejack flavor. Anyway, also, uh, in case some of you haven't uh, realized uh, it, a question bound stars Dinky of all ponies. The reason they did, the creator didn't use the main six, I believe, is because uh, since there's only four spots for the party members, it was better for him or her to use Dinky and the Crusaders or something. That's what it seems. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, I'm just leaving. I'm just using the default names right now. For some reason, Dinky has Winona as uh, her pet, but I guess Applejack uh, didn't feel like. Uh, Caring for winning on anymore, maybe. I, I don't know what Applejack's role in this game is. Hmm. Why is Muffin not a choice here? You'd think uh, it'd be uh, Dinky with Drippy's daughter and most people's head cannons. Favorite food! Oop. There we go, Muffin. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, that's because, uh, the favorite teen is supposed to be a muffin, or at least it's a choice. But the first choice is actually friend, so you know what? Friendship is magic, so let's go with that. Yep, we're gonna go with all of that. M most of this stuff doesn't really matter, like uh, favorite food and uh, our dog's name, that's stuff that really isn't gonna come up, m up uh, very much, but, you know. In case some of you were wondering if I was gonna put like a uh, funny words as uh, some characters names that's something that I do more like in a on a personal level you know to myself because it's it's the sort of thing that you know it's funny uh, at first but after like a month of uh, using it uh, you're gonna be going wow uh, I really shouldn't have stuck up with that also that was totally Ponyville back there uh, it, it totally doesn't look uh, like a uh, on it as it was in the original Earthbound. But yeah, uh, I saw you have a follow my previous playthrough with the Earthbound Halloween hack. Uh, I, it kind of proved that uh, packing some new maps in Earthbound, kind of a difficult thing. At least Dinky has a unique sleeping sprite compared to our previous hero in Earthbound Halloween hack. Also, I, I, I did play this a bit, and the sprites are humongous. Just gonna comment on that right now. Uh, Diggy's a sprite, when she's uh, walking in three-quarter front, her eyes look a bit weird, and her mouth as well, but it's understandable why. It's because of, uh, like, uh, sprite limitations. But it's still, it just looks kind of weird when she jumps to it. By the way, uh, this is an RPG. It's going to be a slow playthrough. I'm, I'm not going to go... I'm going to skip some battles when I start repeating them over, but... Wow, Derpy is really huge. 
I'm gonna skip battles that I go over and that I don't have anything interesting in them, but it's an RPG. It's gonna be a, what take us a long time to finish this. Like, Tink Pony Fantasy 6. Uh, how nice. Uh, also, unlike Pony Fantasy 6 though, I'm gonna try to limit the length of these videos to roughly half an hour. I'm probably gonna break my promise a few times, but, you know, half an hour. Also, Sparkler is a, in this uh, universe, uh, Sparkler is uh, Dinky's sister. It's a headcanon some people adopted since uh, the Sister Hooves social episode, where they were like, uh, since it was uh, about sisters and Dinky was next to Sparkler, mm -hmm. everyone thought, okay, so Derpy, uh, she's the mother of both Sparkler and Dinky now. Hmm, Sparkler needs a hug? But. I can't hug on my menu, I can only check. Maybe checking will make my dinky hug someone. Uh can't hug Sparkler. I don't know why Sparkler is the mom, quote unquote, and Derpy is the actual sister. I guess it's just about like dialogue. Come on, Winona, I, I could use your help actually. Well not right now, but you know. Also, uh, the phone doesn't say anything, so can't use that. So, Earthbound's intro, besides the new sprites, is relatively unchanged. Also, uh, you guys see this huge uh, balloon sprite right here? It looks fine, but... Yeah, you go here and it clearly shows that the sprite was not meant to work with this game. But it's just a hiccup. Yeah, a meteorite fell. Hmm. I wonder how I would feel if a meteorite fell near near my house. Not not on my house, near my house. I I'm pretty sure uh, things would be very very bad if uh, that meteorite landed on my house. But if it landed nearby, well, I'd probably stay asleep honestly. <laughs> Never really got past this part. Also, for some reason, there's a crater right here, but. Don't know what it means though. Wait. Am I stuck? I'm stuck! I'm stuck on the crater! Th that was strange. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing that because of the sprites got changed in this uh, ROM hack, it's possible to get stuck in some places that. or the game just randomly freezes. Okay, okay, that 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 is bizarre. I'm just gonna go up here. D don't know why the game randomly freezes every once in a while, though. Anyway, Silver Spoon. She... Silver Spoon replaces Picky, which means... She's supposed to be the nicer of the... Brothers, quote-unquote, but... She's actually pretty mean here. Okay, going to unexplored territory right here. But no enemies. These uh, guards right here, we're totally not gonna fight them later. He just landed. Trixie's back. Huh. I wonder why Trixie being back is worth mentioning. Nope, it won't stop me at all. Probably because you're not in my way and you're not like blocking me or anything. Ah, uh, the limitations of SNES RPGs. Usually when a NPC wants to block your way, they, the creators make it so that the passage is one block uh, wide and the character is uh, standing right in front of that passage. Also a bread roll. Actually, let's look at our items right now. We've got an ATM card, despite our age. The bread roll, I believe, is uh, unchanged from the uh, other time. And also a spare envelope. Which I actually forgot to equip. Increases our offense by four points. That's triple the power. Who's that? Hey, Dinky, hiya, buddy. A meteor fell down. Boom. Uh, I can't remember which character this pony replaces, but I know what that character is. Wait, Daring Do? 
That's Darien Dew? Uh, well, I kind of see the uh, mane, but the coat color, it doesn't match at all. It needs to be like more orange or brown or not brown, but orangish brown. Uh, I, I guess it could be palette limitations, though. I, I probably shouldn't have picked that much. Or it could like come up later in the game. Diamond Tiara. Friends? I'm not friends with her. Wait, you know what? Let's pretend I am. Wait, what? What are you trying to imply, sir? No. I, I, I don't feel like helping you out after what you tried to imply right there, sir. Play out of, of way out get my. And we can see some ponies up there. But we won't be able to talk to them. So let's talk to this pony right here. Uh, Dinky, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off doing blank, blank things? Leave this to the important ponies. You can just wait at home and hear this all second hoof. Yep, and I think that's all Diamond Tiara is going to tell us. Uh, the Earthbound intro is its kind of confusing as a kid. Because I always thought like uh, that you had to like push Diamond Tiara out of the way. But no, that's not the case. You're actually supposed to listen to her. Which makes sense, because... Uh, in real life, if you were in a situation like this and uh, someone told you go back to bed, you shouldn't be meddling this stuff, that's probably what you should do. And that's what we're about to do actually right now. Because we really don't have anything better to do, do we? We're just a small foal, can't really do anything. We should leave this to the older mares. See, our mom is uh, waiting for us right here. Welcome home, Dinky. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. Sights, get off to bed now. Yes! Adventure over! Game finished! Or so we think. No, it, uh, later that night, probably uh, like at 3 in the morning. A sudden knock. Which wakes us up, of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure a knock wouldn't wake me up, though. Unless it was really that catchy. It's a pretty catchy knock. Someone's knocking the door. Annoying? It's not annoying at all, Derpy. I disagree with you. I, I think it's pretty catchy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a catchy knock. You guys listen to it? It's just that the pony doing the knocking is the annoying thing. Hey, l listen to what I have to say. I was up on the hill with Silver Spoon when the guards were called away for something in town. When I looked back, Silver Spoon was gone! Th this is clearly the guards' fault. I know I'm not to blame. You're the only one around to help. You have to go with me. B what? You can't refuse to help me! You're just a useless blank flank! I'm some pony important. You have to help me. You're the only around to help. You have to go with me. What? You can't refuse to help me. You're just a useless blank flank. I'm Saponi important. You have to help me. You're... Oh, come on. Just say yes. Good. You're coming with me. But before we go, I think your sister wants to talk to you. Isn't that right? Yep. Uh, the dog's unreliable. Actually, no. That's, that's a complete lie. Sparkler is lying right now. Uh, Winona is actually decently useful for the beginning of the game. Don't know why we have to bring our saddlebags all the time. I guess it's like the, the like it's supposed to be our inventory, which makes sense. The inventory system of Earthbound actually, uh, it's nifty. It's it's pretty engaging. It it's atmospheric in a weird sense, and it really makes you think about managing your item. It's just it's a pain to move the items around, especially when you have to move them among party party members. Thank you, Muffin. We're gonna be getting lots of those in the beginning of the game, I'm sure. Uh, also, this is the useless part about uh, Derpy uh, slash uh, Nessus sister. 
She can carry stuff for you, but I have never ever found this uh, gameplay uh, option very useful in this game. Largely because you can only like give it to her and get it back from her. I think. Unless you can get it back from somewhere else, but I'm not aware of it. And even if that is possible, it's still not that useful. Come on, dog. Actually... Huh. Nope, I want you to come with me. Winona joins our party. You, I think you can actually ditch her, like for the beginning, but I sincerely recommend to bring with, bringing her with you. Still can't talk to the phone. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Let's actually ditch Diamond Tiara. Or, no, she won't let us ditch her. Alright, you go out in front and I'll follow you from a safe distance. Now, hurry up! Diamond Tiara hangs back in our party. And now, suddenly, the phone rings, just before I'm about to go out the door. How annoying! Thank you, answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Could be that should call you, like you're going on a long trip. Hmm. So, who's the dad? Like, who... Ostensibly, the dad would be Doctor Who's, or Time Turner, I suppose, for most people's head cannons, but I don't really like Doctor Who, so you know what? I'm gonna pretend it's any pony but Doctor Who's as the dad in this universe. Because I want to. Whatever, let's get out of here. And yeah, we got our first enemy right there. It's a Parasprite. And we're gonna ignore it, actually. What are you doing about the whole uh, dad thing? We never see the fodder in uh, Earthbound or even Mother 1 because apparently that's, it's got something to do with Shikaseto Itoi's uh, childhood. His fodder was never around, apparently. Apparently this music was really bad in version 1.1 and 1.0 and 1.2, I think. It, it got remixed into a much better like sounding version, though, as you are, guys are listening right now. Ow! It, HP of damage. And we didn't cause a single point of damage to it. Fortunately, sometimes it can just fool around. Seriously? Come on, let's at least damage it, finally. What? It stole my bread roll? Can, can I get my bread roll back? Have a okay, so I lost my bread roll, but no biggie. It was just 30 HP. I got some muffins. Muffins are better. Let's check out uh, Diamond Tiara's house. Hey, Blank Flank. Like I said, my dad isn't home yet. We gotta find Silver Spoon. I'm not just leaving her out there until my dad comes home. Now get that Blank Flank of yours moving in the right direction. Hmm. I wonder why Diamond Tiara is being so defensive. Also a butterfly. I don't, I don't need it at all right now, but when I see a butterfly in Earthbound, I just, I just gotta walk up to it. I just gotta. Hmm. Maybe the butterfly should have been changed to like a, one of the breezies from season four. Hey, Dinky! You can't just wander wherever you want. You need to find Silver Spoon! Yep, so Diamond Tiara is not gonna let you do any exploration until, uh, you find Silver Spoon, which means you're still railroaded into going down here. Also a dog. A wild dog! Or a runaway dog, rather. Oh cool, level 2 already! Uh, what? Life up? Already? Uh, d d does Ness learn life up this early in the game? Uh, I guess it's because it's a uh, we're playing a it's it's a new it's a ROM hack, so the creator might have changed some things. But I wasn't expecting magic this early, or yeah, magic. 
It's called magic here. And... Yeah, they're magic points. Okay, cool. I don't have to say... Uh, that abbreviation of uh, power points that I used a lot in the Halloween hack. All the Parasprites drop muffins. That's kind of useful, actually. Because the Parasprites deal a lot of damage. Wait, actually, come to think of it... Is this a, is this ROM, did this ROM hack make the original Earthbound harder? Like, like, no, actually, did it? Is it like a harder version of Earthbound? Probably. That's what ROM hacks do. All the time. Level 3! Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain that this is a lot harder than the original Earthbound. Because I don't remember having this little HP at, right in the beginning of uh, Earthbound. Oh cool, a magic butterfly. The magic butterflies are actually useful now. Because I'm already using uh, magic. Oh, also, I wanted to mention this. Uh, apparently this uh, ROM hack was... Uh, it started being like uh, worked on around Season 2 or after Season 2. But it incorporates some elements of Season 3, even, even Season 4 into it. But it's largely based on like the Season 2, Season 1 atmosphere of the My Little Pony show. So it's largely, yeah, based on that. The Quill Snakes only give me one experience points. Sheesh. When you need to do Daring Do. Or not Daring Do. Daring Don't. Don't know why the police officers moved all, all moved away from a burning hot uh, meteor. Also, Winona, that, that's the end of her right now. She's basically a crutch character for the very beginning, but yeah, she, she leaves us right after this. And here's Silver Spoon. Yeah, so basically uh, Diamond Tiara was lying. Apparently Silver Spoon was actually searching for Diamond Tiara, not... not uh, Whatever story Diamond TR made up. But Silver Spoon still sounds mean, so you don't feel sorry for her at all. Dinky! Do you hear some kind of buzzing sound? Uh... You know what? I'm gonna pretend I don't. What?! You can tell me your blank blank ears can't hear that?! Actually, did the, does Buzz Buzz get ponified? I, I I don't know. Uh, I guess not. He looks the same. He or she? I don't never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I was expecting that. <laughs> oh okay, god, god! I can't really laugh right now. It's uh, pretty late at night. Anyway, uh, behold the princess of the night. Despite our form, we are princesses. <laughs> So, so is the nightmare to... Oh, okay. Twilight. Okay. So, Luna breezified herself or something? That, that made sense. Yeah, I did listen. Quite a, quite a lot. Even though I, uh, even though that was unexpected, I was, I wasn't expecting Buzz Buzz to be like bonafide that way. I guess actually changing his sprite or his or her sprite would have been like inconvenient, but oh, is, is this Diamond Tiara talking? Uh, hold on, actually, I, I need to voice act. Dinky, look what you've gotten us into! I'm not about to go running through town in the middle of the night to visit some librarian. Take Silver Spoon and me home before you go running off. Sure, why not? Or I could not listen to you at all and... Yep, just drag you around whatever I want. You have anything new to say, Darren Do? Oh, she does. Suspenseful sound effect. 
guess I'll have to talk to Darien Dew later alone. Not that I don't think Princess Luna will leave me alone, though. By the way, is it just me or is the music a bit creepier right now? Like, there's some kind of rumbling effect that, that I can hear. I think it creeped me out as a kid. Or maybe I wasn't hearing it as a kid at all because uh, I didn't, wasn't wearing headphones right now. Oh, right, this part. What? Who the hell is that? Is that rarity? Like, some kind of an evil version? Oh, it, it's a crystal slave. Okay, okay. It, it didn't. It looked like rarity, though, for me. And King Sombra. I didn't even know he got mentioned. Well, anyway, basically this fight right here. It's just basically like uh, to show you how difficult the enemies are going to get late, much later in the game. Princess Luna. She's basically just gonna like protect you every turn and. Yeah, you can just basically hope that you never get hit. Yeah, I, I said I said that. Yeah, uh, you have to hope you never get hit because apparently, if you power level, it's possible for, to, for for you to actually die in this battle. But Luna or Buzz Buzz, uh, they usually make the shield every second turn, so you should be fine. But it is possible to lose. Just gonna say that right there. And that wasn't too difficult. Lulu, she's pretty overpowered. Even in breezy form. Did you just go navy on us, Lulu? Seriously? Anyway, you know what? Let's go to the library right now. Hey, Dinky! You can't just wander wherever you want. You need to take Silver Spoon and me home! Uh, okay, I'm gonna take you home. My home! Seriously. Oh, uh, okay, that's, I thought that was one of uh, another crystal slave right there. Yes, make me some muffins, please. <laughs> yeah, you, you can no longer use Winona ever. She's, ne she's never gonna be playable again. If you want to play with a dog partner, I think uh, Mother 3 might have you covered there, though. Oh, uh, right, that's... Yeah, this is all Derpy's gonna say for the rest of the game, except for, like, some few events. That That's kind of uh, too bad. I wish she was the mom, but... Whatever. It's a developer's choice. Anyway, we have to take Diamond TR and Silver Spoon back to their home right here, and what do you know, uh, Ness slash uh, Dinky only has one neighbor. And we got, uh, actually, I, I just had a thought, are Diamond TR and Silver Spoon sisters in this universe? Because this is uh, Diamond TR's dad right there, but probably not Silver Spoon's dad, but, uh, confusion. Anyway, let's talk to the OC mother right here. My fault? Aww. Oh. Don't, don't you dare talk down to my mother like that, woman. You're an OC. Oh man, child abuse! Maybe I should. Uh, could you stand away from me, woman? Uh, I probably shouldn't call her woman. I should probably call her or no C because that's what she is. But for some reason, I feel like she's going to do something really bad by just standing right next to me. Uh, Lulu, get out of the way. Get out of the way, please. Uh, the consequences of being breezy form. You die in one swat. Seriously, and killed by a no C of all things? That that OC was probably trying to prove how badass it is, but no, uh, everyone's gonna draw hate out of her now.
Oh, cool. We, we get to see Twilight uh, early in the game, I think. Maybe. No. Rest in peace, uh, future Luna. Hopefully, uh, present Luna won't take this news uh, too badly if we ever meet her. I kind of hope we do. Anyway, let's just check up on Diamond here, right here. My dad really got after me. He said I'd get no dessert for the rest of the decade. Seriously, that's it? Are you sure you didn't do some other things? Uh, I don't know why the original game had, uh, well, implied child beating, but... Different cultural uh, values, I suppose. Yep, the Honor team got replaced uh, by the uh, intro team of uh, Malaponi Fear Friendship is Magic. It's got a really, really uh, light, though. Like, it's really, uh, re really low sound. Okay, uh, it's been over half an hour, so I think I'm going to stop this video right here. And... Yeah, no more interruptions. We're, we're going back home. What? Oh! <coughs> I completely forgot about this. Oh my. No, no. Photo finish, no. You. No. You are not taking your picture. You're gonna take your picture next video. Because we're ending this one right here, right now. So, anyway, uh, playthrough of Question of Bound. We are going to be going through the entire game, just beating it. Probably not 100%, but hope you guys are going to enjoy this playthrough as much as I will. I will not hold polls. I will not fo force polls, but if something comes up. I will try to do something. Anyway, hope you're all going to enjoy this. Hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you have a very nice day. See you next time. Bye-bye!